thanks for joining me here at carmd.com. I'm Mark Evans and today we're going to show you how to replace an air filter. First thing you want to do is look for the air filter. The best way to find it is look for the air snorkel coming off of the engine. This will take you and lead you right to the air filter box. At the box you need to find out if it is screws or metal clips that hold the air filter lid on. In this particular car it's clips which means you just need a regular flat tip screwdriver. Take the screwdriver, come down into the clip, lightly click it off. Always look for three clips, sometimes up to six clips. Make sure that all the clips are undone. Now that I've released all of the three clips that hold the air filter lid on, just lift the air filter lid up and out of the way, securing it so it doesn't come back. At that point, you can lift the old air filter out and it's like Christmas, clean or dirty, this is horribly filthy. How you can tell is the depth of the dirt through the waffle. Look at the dirt all the way down to the inlet. As I take my dirty air filter that I am going to replace and inspect it with the new air filter, there is quite a difference. New versus old. One is literally white, see-through. The other one I can't see through it. Once you get the air filter out of the air filter box, I can't stress enough, you need to get the sand and dirt out of the bottom of the air filter box. Doing that is easy with a wet and dry vac. If you do not have a wet and dry vac, you can go to your car wash and rent that. The new air filter then is easily installed. Just drop it right into the box. Then you can take the air filter lid. It fits in snug, just like a glove. Now I've got the plastic lid back on top of its box. It's nice and snug. You can then fasten your three metal clips. I feel very comfortable now that I am not going to be polluting the environment and I'm going to get great gas mileage. For more video tips, go to carmd.com. I'm Mark Evans. Happy motoring, everyone.